What's up, YouTube? Did you know that some studies show that sugar can be more addicting than alcohol and any other drug? Right? Wow. I did not think know this either. And most people don't know it. Sugar, in fact, can be so addicting and le like have so many long-term damaging effects, can lead to diabetes, um, and just with the dopamine release that it gives, it's almost like crack cocaine. And the addicted the addictioncenter.com says the addictive properties of sugar, it links those to those of cocaine. Although the effects are far diminished, it can create a spark of energy and then a short-term high in the body. Um, and so that's citing a dopamine release as the root cause of that short-term high. However, the long-term health effects it's, um, can be, if you have too much sugar, you can lead to, that can lead to obesity, diabetes, um, and just so many other things. Anxiety is one of them as well. Um, and hello, my name is Kellyanne Rose. And this video, we're going to talk about all of the things that sugar does to you when you eat it and how to just like kick the craving to the curb and get back on regulating yourself. Because when you regulate your blood sugar, you also can, um, it helps like your hormonal balance. Um, and as a woman, this is especially important to keep your hormones in check. So <clears throat> yeah, so when you cut sugar out of your diet, okay, let me just start with this. I always, I'm not an expert on any of the things that I'm talking about. I am learning and teaching as I go along because teaching is the best way to learn. And so I am going through every video, like, well, the, this video and most of my videos that I'm doing, I'm actually learning as I'm going through, like I'm learning in real life. So today I actually had, I'm going through all the things I'm talking about. So today I actually, um, just realized that I've been eating so much sugar from Christmas candy and I think I had a crash today and it really, other than the fact of being tired as well, which is like a really bad combination because sleep is like my medicine. Um, I just had this sugar crash and it really impacted my mood today, um, and hormones and I can tell, and it's real. it's just, not a lot of people, I mean, are aware of how sugar can affect you. And it literally really can be more addictive than alcohol or any drug. So if you do cut sugar out of your diet, um, you may also, by the way, I failed my test today because I was like, you know, just, I was told to just eat fruit when you're craving sugar and it's, you know, you get that natural sugar in your system, but I, I went to Costco and I ended up to go shopping and I ended up, I just like, I was like, I needed like, it's like I needed that dopamine rush again. So I ended up getting a chocolate sundae and a piece of pizza and I am just like failing at nutrition today. And that's why I need to do this video. I need to not only teach it, but learn it myself more importantly. <laughs> so um, research is what I found today. It shows me that if you cut sugar out of your diet, you may also reduce acid reflux, irritable bowel. I didn't know this fatigue. That makes sense. Migraine, anxiety, and stress. And that's like the kicker for me. It's like always about maintaining the, my balance of anxiety and my mood and my hormones always seem to be affected. And it's like, I'm so sensitive but anxiety and stress, joint pain, and rashes. Who to think that sugar intake would affect joint pain? Like everything is connected. It's so crazy. According to the American Diabetic and Diabetic Association, increased sugar consumption is the leading cause of degenerative disease. Wow, I didn't know that either. Um, I will say that the World Health Organization states that an adult living on a standard 2000 calorie diet should aim to consume about 25 grams of sugar today. A single can of Coke contains 44 grams and the average American consumes 17 teaspoons of sugars per day, which is 71.14 grams of sugar. And that's more than three times of the World Health Organization's recommended standard. Um, so addiction center, we already talked about this, um, how addictioncenter.com links the properties of sugar, sugar to co cocaine. It literally has like 
the, the effects are different and far more diminished with sugar, but it's that same like elicits this energy spark and then it's a short term high and then it kind of weans away after the dopamine is released um, after that short term high. And then you get the long term effects like the obesity and diabetes. Um, so not fun. But in this video, we are also going to talk about how to kiss that sugar addiction goodbye. So um, we don't want that degenerative disease and all of the things that eating too much sugar comes along with. So, you know, first you got to, this is how you got to kick it. First, you got to make the decision. You're going to commit yourself to just do a detox. You're just going to not have the sugar. And I'm really proud of anybody who does this because it's really hard to do. You have to just decide to quit cold turkey. Just like be done and like decide that you are going to be done. Um, stop all forms of sugar, white flour, artificial sweeteners, hydrogenated fats, MSG and prepackaged foods. That it's really hard to do that, but it's really good to do those cleanses, especially like now in winter time, because whew, it's really tough to, um, you know, we're, we're in winter. It's like a really good time to cleanse, detox, cleanse, get all these, um, toxins out of our system. So we can kind of start fresh as the, um, winter solstice is bringing us back to the light. The days are getting longer. It's a good time to detox. Um, add protein to every meal. That's going to be a way to help you get off that sugar and kick it to the curb, detox away from it. So include eggs, nuts, seeds, fish, chicken, or grass fed meats, eat the right carbs. So only non starchy veggies. So, um, asparagus, um, green beans, mushrooms, onions, zucchini, tomatoes, fennel, eggplant, and peppers, non starchy veggies are good. Um, the Cleveland Clinic is saying to kick sugar to the curb. Include good fats at every meal. So this is just the same health um, advice that pertains any time, but this is just going to help you overall. Go for those nuts and seeds, avocado and fish, um, which offer omega-3 fatty acids, and that's really good to get. Manage your stress. When you're stressed, your cortisol levels shoot up. So it's going to drive your hunger and fuel sugar cravings. So try to just manage your stress and keep it, keep it at a minimum and then quit gluten and dairy. Wow. I really feel today by eating that pizza at Costco and the chocolate sundae. Cause there's a lot of dairy right there and my body does not respond well to dairy because it also causes inflammation for me. So it says, Quit gluten and dairy. It's not easy, but after two or three days, you'll have more energy and fewer cravings. No gluten and no dairy. Oh my gosh. I think I just need to do that because I can like notice like other than the lack of sleep mentally, I am being a little like things like affected and I have the anxiety to go along with it. Sleep. There we go. If you get less than eight hours a night, it can drive you to eat more calories. Uh, so you two, my, that, there we have it. Like that's how you do it. You just kind of have to go cold turkey and stop eating sugar and understanding that we're only supposed to eat like 25 grams or so of sugar a day. So if you, you don't have, to, you know, if you are going to cut out the sugar, at least just monitor to that. Um, you can uh, the, break the sugar habit. And these are all good things to know to help you and your mental health and your peace. So you can have more um, sleep better at night and like have more balanced mood and hormones. Um, you can, you can break the sugar habit and, you know, just by, by doing a detox, it doesn't mean that you can never have another cupcake, but it does give you control over your cravings and your health. So you can do it, my friends. Um, again, welcome to my YouTube channel and I welcome you to learn along with me and all these topics that I'm talking about. My name is Kellyanne Rose. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you're new. And I just look forward to, um, to learning alongside with you and sharing more um, fun videos with juicy video content. So go ahead and click like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.